So we have the earth is trying to evade, avoid the uh, magnetic field of planet X. So you have, if you go to Radio Shack and you buy two stick magnets and you stand one up with its north pole facing up, which would be like the axis of the earth, and you have the other one laying on its side and you bring it close, you'll notice that the second magnet knocks over the first magnet. So the earth, being a magnetic body, is trying to avoid planet X. And so what it does is it's spinning to the east. So if you're in the northern hemisphere and you're facing south, the earth is actually rolling over to the left, going behind you, and then coming back to the right and standing up again. And this is the strange, strange weather that we've been having. What that's doing is it's taking the normal jet stream, which goes from west to east, and it's making it go north and south in these huge loops. So on the one hand, you have bitter cold, and 100 miles to the east of it, you have unbelievable warmth. And I'll tell you, I've lived in Maine and New England my whole life. I've lived in Maine for 25 years. Mainers don't like it if I say I'm a Mainer because no matter how long I live here, I couldn't become a Mainer. But the thing is, is that on December 13th, Maine was warmer than Havana, Cuba. Now, I've lived 62 years and that's never happened before. So um, these are the kinds of things. But now we see that because you know, there's a lot of talk, well, the magnetic poles are shifting. No, that has nothing to do with it. The actual magnetic pole has always shifted. There's a whole career in resetting compasses for mariners. Uh, you can go into any seaport in the world and you can find somebody to reset your compass. There's a, there's a, a line of, a, of zero deviation that goes down the Atlantic Ocean. And you might not have ever known this, but uh, if you're on that line, anywhere from the North Pole all the way to the South Pole, then G magnetic north is the same as polar north. And that's called zero deviation. And the Pope said that was a message for God, and that meant that all the lands to the east of it were... Um, uh, to be owned by Portugal and all the lands to the west of it to be owned by Spain and that's why when you look at South America you see that Brazil the farthest eastern uh, nation is Portuguese and all the other um, lands are Spanish so uh, a lot of people don't know that but no matter where you go in the world except for where there is a line of zero deviation uh, what you have is the magnetic pole is not in the same place as the North Pole and people have said, well, you know, they had to repaint the Tampa airport runway. Now, you might not have known this, but every runway has a number pa painted on it, and that has to do with the bearing to north. So Tampa Bay, um, Tampa Airport, had 360 zero uh, painted on its runway. Well, I've just told you that was impossible to begin with. You know, there are millions and millions of runways in the world. And if the runway, if, if, if the magnetic pole was moving so far that it had to be repainted, all millions, probably tens of millions of runways in the world would have to close so the numbers could be repainted. But I'm telling you, Tampa said 0360, which is due north. That was the uh, alignment of the runway. That wasn't right to begin with. There was only one airport closed. So, oh uh, no, I'm not talking about magnetic. The core of the Earth is the source of the magnetic pole. And believe me, it's not about to shift. But in pole shift, what you have is the crust coming free of the core. And as all of these forces are acting on the crust, which is fractured, that's what the tectonic plates are, you have various parts of it shifting. And that's what we see in Indonesia. Nancy said that pole shift is 10 out of 10 and that this year, before the end of the year, we would reach 7 out of 10. And 7 out of 10 included one of these things. The north part of South America rolling to the, the west, the north part of Africa rolling to the east, Indonesia and um, Southeast Asia sinking, um, and a variety of other things. But it turns out that 
that uh, and she wasn't going to be specific because the Zetas didn't want to be specific because they didn't want to warn everybody uh, in that way they uh, they feel and a lot of uh, uh, governments uh, uh, listen half the Pentagon's reading Zeta talk don't kid yourself so uh, a lot of people wanted to know like what what is it which is first and they uh, don't want to release stuff to just a few people like in the government or the wealthy or the elite uh, they want to make it available to the world on Zeta Talk and I'm telling you you have got to start subscribing to the Zeta Talk newsletter you've got to go to Pole Shift Ning and I can't tell you how important this is but right now we have Indonesia which is made up of as I said 17,508 islands is slowly going under. Now there's a tongue of the uh, Southeast Asian tectonic plate that stretches down into Malaysia and Indonesia and it's like a ribbon and it's getting folded, it's getting crumpled. So you have little parts going up and you have most of it going down. and. Um, you've got flooding has been reported in and this is saltwater flooding from subsidence uh, sinking in Philippines Malaysia Indonesia uh, Pakistan and uh, there was an agreement between the governments that they would cover this up by saying it was the torrential monsoon rains it was the uh, global warming in fact Al Gore was just in Jakarta Indonesia as a featured speaker at a global warming conference and uh, they call it rising sea levels in Indonesia it isn't rising sea levels if you check the buoy data and the earthquakes you go to the iris site and you look at uh, the earthquakes around the world that whole edge of that tectonic plate is one giant earthquake zone and just Indonesia alone has 22 volcanoes going off at the moment I think they have 150 volcanoes in the whole country so Indonesia is a very tightly controlled country they are keeping this secret they're not announcing it they're not trying to let people know and uh, they really don't have a place to put it so I call it a slow motion disaster and this is fulfillment of what the Zeta said to Nancy and she gave to the world in November of 2009 now when I was on coast to coast I crashed the Zeta website so Nancy told me that I should mention that there are mirror sites Zeta talk 2.com Zeta talk 3.com etc through Zeta talk 6.com and now they have a Zeta torrent so you can actually download the whole body of information and listen I'm talking about tens of thousands of pages of information and especially safe locations and where you can go but this is the beginning of it and uh, these birds the fish I've heard the most ridiculous explanations fireworks cracks in the aurora borealis over the north pole hailstorms lightning uh, cold and uh, you've got to realize you know we've been told so many lies like uh, there isn't any more fossil fuels people don't realize that the bottom of the ocean at deep pressure and temperature are huge amounts of methane nodules and as you might know any hydrocarbon can be converted into any other hydrocarbon during World War II the Nazis made gasoline out of coal so methane can be converted into gasoline or diesel fuel and not that it's going to be but the point is on the bottom of the oceans at the deepest places are such huge amounts of methane gas in solid nodule form and they do not have a way to bring it to the surface because as soon as it starts to come up it becomes a gas again and they haven't figured that one out and they're not going to by the way um, but anyway there's enough methane at the bottom of the ocean just laying on the floor to keep our current consumption levels worldwide going for at least another 10,000